Existing categories for domestic postal voters should be abolished because of a lack of transparency and trust in the process and the election commission, says Bearsy 2.0. Instead, it proposed that these postal voters be allowed to vote via advance voting instead. However, the electoral group suggested that domestic postal voting be extended, on a very limited basis, to persons with disabilities or voters with health issues that prevent them from coming out to vote in person. These proposals are contained in a report, entitled Improving Access to Voting in Malaysia, commissioned by Berzi 2.0 to study the challenges for voters in exercising their right to vote in Malaysia. The report provided recommendations on how access to voting can be reformed to make it easier and safer for all voters, particularly in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Berish 2.0 also wanted the advance voting system to be expanded to voters incarcerated in prisons and those who were outstation. It said military and police personnel should vote under a free and unsuppressed environment during advance voting without the presence of their superiors or any other conditions which may affect the exercise of their free will or cause them to feel intimidated. Bearsy 2.0 said the election commission should ensure there were enough polling stations in remote areas, especially in Sabah and Sarawak. It said it should also review the spread of polling stations in urban areas to make voting more convenient and less costly for voters from the low-income strata. In terms of health and safety, Additional polling stations or polling streams should be open to avoid overcrowding. Bearsy 2.0 also hoped to see the government introduce a fixed-term parliament act with the aim of having a fixed date for the general election. This is to ensure voters and political parties are not caught by surprise and have legitimate expectations of when elections would be held. Other measures in the report include expanding postal voting to voters residing in Singapore, Brunei, Kalimantan and southern Thailand. It said the Election Commission should remove the current requirement for overseas voters to have spent at least 30 days in Malaysia in the last five years to be eligible for voting. The group wanted the immediate implementation of the long-delayed automatic voter registration system and the lowering of the voting age to 18 to enfranchise 5.6 million Malaysians into the electoral process.